friends and family, and especially Matthew and Serena, I want to welcome you. Welcome to the Valley of Fire. What an outstanding and magical location that you have selected for your wonderful day to celebrate the most important day of your life. You must be very excited, and I'm sure it's been a lot of planning and uh, all kinds of things to get to the point where we're at today. But we're obviously here to officially celebrate the love that you have for each other. And I also want to acknowledge your guests. Um, obviously, you're very important in their lives that you've made the mighty trek, not just to Las Vegas, but to come out here. And I know there was an awful lot of planning to make all of this happen. And um, obviously, you're very important in their lives to be here to share this day with them as well. So on behalf of them, I want to thank you for coming to share one of life's most sacred moments. And may you be as important in their lives tomorrow as you are here today. So obviously, normally I would say who's presenting this beautiful bride to this handsome groom, but I'm going to just go with uh, the expectation that it's all of you, that you're all in support of this marriage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As you know, there are very few occasions that are as important as a marriage ceremony. Today, your lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. Your love is the reason that all of us are here today. Before we begin, I just want to acknowledge the fact that it obviously did take an awful lot of planning to get to this point. It was probably a little bit hectic as you got ready earlier today and obviously a little bit of traffic and whatever that held you up, but we're all here and that's what's important. Having said that, you're in one of the most magical places in the state for one of the most magical days of your life. And I want to take you back for a second um, to the first time that you met each other. I want you to go back to that first glance that you had of each other, your first date. <laughs> <laughs> the time when the butterflies were stirring up in your stomach when you first fell in love. And the moment that Matthew proposed, and I'm assuming he proposed. Yeah. Okay. And I want you to just think about your love story. Obviously, the love story that evolved to the point where we are here today. Matthew and Serena, today a new life lies before you. Are you ready to walk down this path as husband and wife and live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love? Yes. yes. All right. I'm going to ask everyone to please bow their heads for a moment as we ask for God's blessing over Matthew and Serena on their special day. <laughs> Matthew, you got to suck this up for a minute. All right. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you for this day, the day that the decision has been made by Matthew and Serena to join each other in life as a married couple. We pray that you would give them the strength and wisdom to take things as they come, to persevere through the hard times, and to celebrate with each other during the good times. We thank you, dear Lord, that your presence be here today and that your blessing would go throughout this day and that you would provide guidance not only during this ceremony but throughout their marriage and the words that they speak today would ring true in their hearts not just for today, but for the rest of their lives. And we pray this in your name, Father. Amen. Amen. Matthew and Serena, today you're about to embark on a new journey together. <laughs> to one person, or to that one person, you are the world. But you have found each other, you are the world to each other. The love that you have found for each other has brought sunshine into your lives but obviously into the lives of those around you. And as you know, no one person can marry you. I'm basically here as your narrator. Only you two can marry each other. And as you spend the rest of your lives together, I would like to now share a few important thoughts and practices as to how we should all live as married couples successfully. I want you to remember and think about these things as you go through your marriage. The little things are the big things. You're never too old to hold hands. Tell each other I love you at least once a day. And I'm actually going to rewrite that. I would certainly hope that you tell each other that you love each other way more than once a day. She never does. <laughs> <laughs> the big one. <laughs> never go to sleep angry. And this is a tough one. If you've been together for a little while, you know there's lumps and bumps along the road. And not every day is going to be like today. There's going to be some rough times. But no argument is ever worth 
going to sleep angry. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Cherish every moment that you have together with a hug and a kiss and I love you before you go to bed every night. And we're all set. <laughs> Never take each other for granted. Learn the wisdom of compromise, for it is better to bend than to break. Do things for each other, not because of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy and love. Do not expect perfection in each other. Accept each other for who you are today. Have the capacity to forgive and forget. And give each other an atmosphere in which you can each grow. Because it's not only about marrying the right partner, it's also about being the right partner. Matthew and Serena, the two of you have discovered the greatest gift of all in life, and that's unconditional love. And the best description of unconditional love that was ever written goes like this. Love is patient and love is kind. Love is never jealous or envious. Love is never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way, nor is it irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly ever notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. And this kind of love knows no boundaries to its tolerance, no end to its trust, no fading of its hope, and no limit to its endurance. This kind of love can outlast anything. Love is, in fact, the one thing that still stands when all else fails. And these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But obviously, the most important of those three is love. I will now ask that you both seal the covenant of love that you have made for each other by the giving and receiving of the rings. And I'm going to talk just a little bit about the significance and the symbolization of the wedding ring before we, we move forward with that. Wedding rings are a symbol of your commitment and love. The rings are circular like your love. They have no beginning and no end. They represent what has been and what always will be. Your rings are made of solid, sturdy material, which is meant to survive many, many years of hand-holding and hard work to make sure that this relationship stays strong. The wedding ring is placed on the fourth finger of the left hand because it was traditionally believed that this finger was a direct connection to the heart, which is the perfect place for the symbol representing eternal love. And now you will both wear your wedding rings every day as an indication of your love for each other. So I'm going to have you go ahead and pass your bouquet to one of your attendants and then we can have uh, Matthew, you're going to go ahead and uh, put the ring on Serena's finger if you want to get that. And I'm going to... Can I put it on the right hand? Just oh, come on, don't no, I just gave hand. instructions on where it goes, so... Yeah, we didn't just <laughs> but I'm going to ask you a series of questions first. I don't think so. <laughs> Do you want her to have hers? Yet? You can hold it if you like, but yeah, or you can get it later. Either's fine. Have a hold? Yeah. Wait, there's two. Okay, before we move forward, Matthew, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Matthew, do you receive yes. Serena to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love, cherish, and encourage her? I to do. share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments and to keep her in sickness and in sorrow and to be loyal to her forevermore? I do. Okay, and I'm going to have you look at her as you begin to, well first you can go ahead and slide the ring on her finger and then I'll have you say vows to her. There we go. A little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Alright, and if you could repeat after me. I'm Matthew. I'm Matthew. And you can look at her because these are from you to her. <laughs> promise to you, Serena. I promise to you, Serena. Before our witnesses. Before our witnesses. To commit my love to you. To commit my love to you. To respect you. To respect you. To be with you. To be with you. Through life's changes and challenges. <laughs> to life's changes and challenges. And to nurture and strengthen. And nurture and strengthen. The love between us. The love between us. As long as we both shall live. <laughs> as long as we both shall live. All right. Good job. Okay, Serena, I'm going to ask you the same questions. Serena, do you receive Matthew to be your husband 
to promise to love, to cherish and encourage him to share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments to keep him in sickness and in sorrow and to be loyal to him forevermore? I do. Okay. And you can go ahead and put the ring on his finger. And if you can repeat after me and look at your man while you're repeating or saying your vows to him. I, Serena. I, Serena. Promise to you, Matthew. Promise to you, Matthew. Before our witnesses. Before our witnesses. To commit my love to you. To commit my love to you. To respect you. To respect you. To be with you. To be with you. Through life's changes and challenges. Through life's changes and challenges. And to nurture and strengthen. And to nurture and strengthen. The love between us. The love between us. As long as we both shall live. Now I'm going to ask the two of you to hold both hands and look into each other's eyes. And I want you to think about these things. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, that are holding your hands on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years to come and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow as well as tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it the most. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. Those of us that are here today have heard the willingness of Matthew and Serena to be joined in marriage. You have both come of your free will in our presence and you have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have both expressed your love for one another through heartfelt vows and giving and receiving of the wedding ring to each other as your promises to each other. Therefore, by the power vested in me, by the laws of the state of Nevada, I now declare you husband and wife. Matthew, go ahead and kiss your beautiful bride. And now wife. Get it, get it, girl. So <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask if that's a practice round, but we'll go with yeah, that right. and get a real one. Oh, I guess the one. <laughs> yes. Well, I am honored to have had the opportunity, and it was a pleasure to be the one to bring you together as husband and wife, and I just pray that God will bless your union together eternally. And the best part about my job is that I get to also be the first to announce you as Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Serena Olmstead. Olmstead. Yeah.